Nelson, and welcome to Inside SoCal. If you're a bookworm, chances are you fell in love with reading as a child. But did you love it so much that you wanted to own your own bookstore? Annabelle Chang did. I am 17. I am a high school senior right now. The name of this store is Annabelle's Book Club LA, and we are on Ventura Boulevard. We are a young adult focused bookstore, but we sort of have something for everyone. Annabelle is passionate about books and has been all her life. During the pandemic, friends and classmates turned to her for book recommendations. Then one thing led to another. With encouragement from her family and a clear vision of her own, she opened this bookstore. From the get-go, she has been heavily involved in the curation of the books, merchandise, and overall feel of the store. This is my wall and I have sort of a mix of genres and just a mix of what I'm loving right now. <laughs> All of the title, the section names, I really wanted them to sound like book reviews, which is why they're in quotations. Oh, that's smart. Well, okay, so Heart Stopping is over here. Yes, so Heart Stopping is Mystery Thriller, which is also one of my favorite sections. And Unforgettable, we have a mix of things. We have children's books because those were, you know, some of the most impactful books for me. Does he even read? <laughs> I think a lot of people assume that teenagers gravitate more heavily toward online reading. And we've actually seen the opposite trend over the past nine months with our, with our customers, which has, been, which has been really fun to see. I love that. That makes me so happy. There makes is, me happy too. <laughs> the, the smell of a book, the feel of a book, there's really nothing like it. Authors have always been my personal heroes and one of my favorite parts of having a brick and mortar store has been being able to meet and also host events for so many incredible authors. And on this day, nothing made Annabelle happier than to meet two of those heroes. New York Times best-selling authors Nicola and David Yoon living here in Los Angeles. This is the one that started it off for Yeah. Nicola and David not only write about love, <laughs> but are clearly in love and have been for over 20 years. Make them kiss, see? <laughs> <laughs> we met in grad school for writing. Yeah. Um, we were in our first writing, writing workshop, workshop together. together. I thought um, he was the cutest, but also that his writing was just excellent. I think that's why I liked him in the first place. And, but I thought your writing was awesome too, and I was like, I gotta step it up. Their own love story inspires them to write stories of characters like themselves. Characters they didn't see in stories growing up. In my case, I grew up with like virtually no right, Asian American male characters in books or any kind of media. We knew we both loved love stories. Uh, we obviously knew that people like us fall in love, and yet if you look at the media <laughs> landscape, you you wouldn't think that. I find myself saying a lot, you know, black girls fall in love every day, but you wouldn't know it on TV. <laughs> the stories that you see about people of color are, you know, sort of issue stories and racism or, um, you know, the sort of immigrant story. And obviously those stories are still important. But I do think other types of stories are important, right? Like the big aspirational love story. Love is transcendent and transformative and we all feel it. Because I think love is the only thing you get out of bed for in the morning. It really is the universal, um, whether, you know, you're, you're being chased by zombies across a wasteland or, you know, whatever. Yeah. And you're still searching for that person that you love. Recently, they started their own imprint called Joy Revolution to publish other authors with the same mission. The main mission of Joy Revolution is love stories written by people of color about people of color. It's true, it's hard to be what you can't see. Um, and so just depicting people of color uh, expressing their full breadth of humanity and not just like the noble you know important stuff but also the not important stuff and the trivial and the silly and funny places like this i mean when you come in and you pick up a book and it sucks you in it changes your whole life and yeah. if you can create some book nerds you've done a good thing for the world we're writing the books that we always wanted when we were kids too and so it's i can't it's like we're living the dream sometimes i have to pinch myself and be like we're actually doing Mostly this for a living me. <laughs> <laughs> for real though. But it, it's amazing. It's, I wouldn't trade it for anything. You know? Happy reading and happy Sunday. I'm Erica Olson for Inside SoCal. We'll see you next week. Inside SoCal is presented by Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness.